Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with meteorologist Scott Haney. All right, good afternoon, everybody. We are looking at a beautiful day and weather out there in terms of sky conditions, but it is windy out there. Those winds are gusting in excess of 30, even close to 40 miles an hour. Our Channel 3 Early Warning dual pole radar scanning the state drive. We did have some snow shower activity earlier this morning between the hours of about 4.30 and 7 uh, in northwest Connecticut. Coated up the ground just a little bit, but uh, no snow is in our forecast for the foreseeable future. We might have a couple of wet snowflakes mixing in Thursday night into early Friday morning. Even Wednesday during the storm on Wednesday, there could be a couple of wet snowflakes. But for the most part, these are going to be rain events for us. Mostly sunny and cool during the day today. It's going to be a cold night ahead. We're talking about temperatures dropping into the low to mid 20s. That is substantially below average by about 10 to 12 degrees. The typical overnight low is about 33. And then it's going to be cool and dry during the day tomorrow. The temperatures are going to get a little bit better than where they are today, but still below average temperatures for tomorrow. Take a look at the numbers out there right now. 34 in Salisbury, Torrington at 34, Bradley 41, 40 at Brainerd, 40 in Meriden. I mean, the warmest we've got on this map is 43 degrees in New Haven and in Bridgeport. And as you can see, the sustained winds, look at that, a sustained wind of 26 miles an hour at Bradley. That's pretty incredible. That would be impressive if it were a gust. 16 miles an hour, 13 to 16 miles an hour in Chester. Go ahead, Chester, make a liar out of me. 25 in Groton, 23 in Bridgeport. These are sustained winds, and we'll check in with the gust now to 38 miles an hour at Bradley. There was one just about an hour ago to 39 miles an hour, so we're approaching that 40 to 40 mile per hour wind gust speed. And you can see these wind gusts out of the north and west are making it feel substantially colder. How much colder? It feels like it's in the low to mid 20s out there. So if you're out and about today, grab that winter coat. I mean, we're talking about temperatures that feel like they're in the low to mid to upper 20s and low 30s, mid to upper 30s along the shoreline. So that is not too good for April 1st, and that's no joke. As we continue to move ahead, the temperatures will probably peak out in the mid, possibly some upper 40s between about 2 and 5 p.m., and the same thing for the shoreline. Uh, maybe some upper 40s approaching 48, 49 between 2 and 5 p.m., and then tonight will be a clear night. There's going to be a lot of radiational cooling, and it's going to get cold. Now, Hartford looks great. New London looks great, and our Middletown ICAM looks great. Great. Look at how amazing that skyline is. A little bit of lake effect snow shower activity trying to make its way into Connecticut, not succeeding. And as you can see, the nation is fairly quiet. Our next storm system is coming and it will be a coastal storm, but it's just going to get very close to Connecticut. So there's nothing on Futurecast today. There's really nothing on Futurecast tomorrow. So I'm going to jump ahead to tomorrow night. We're going to pick it up at about 7 p.m. All right, so Futurecast tomorrow night at 7 p.m. showing us increasing clouds. And then here comes the rain. Maybe Maybe again a couple of wet snowflakes. This is very early Wednesday morning, but you can see it's mostly rain. Again, maybe a couple of wet snowflakes early Wednesday morning. This is 6 a.m., but for the most part it is rain, and we're on the northern fringe of this storm system. It should be gone by 9 30, 10 o'clock, and we'll get back to the nicer weather. So a big coastal storm, a big nor'easter, but for us it's just going to be some rain very early Wednesday morning through mid to late morning Wednesday plain rain. Highs today climb into the mid to upper 40s. Your overnight lows tonight really gets cold tonight. I mean, upper teens and low to mid uh, 20s out there. That's chilly. And then your seven day forecast includes a little bit of moderation tomorrow. Rain Wednesday morning, very early through about 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, then partial clearing in the afternoon. Thursday looks good. A couple of wet snowflakes around Thursday night in the highest elevations of the state, but that looks like showers on Friday as the temperature only gets to 48 and then Saturday and Sunday. Saturday could be wet to start, maybe some clearing in the afternoon, and then Sunday looks like the better of the two weekend days.